Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, where we meet up weekly and we chat about real life situations and we just do what helps us wind down. On today's episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, we are going to be talking about self care. So if you want to hear more about self-care and if you want to talk about self-care, then stay tuned. But before I move any further with this video, make sure you have that notification bell turned on. Make sure you are subscribed and then press play. And then we continue into the episode. As we all know, self-care is extremely important and extremely vital and plays a big role in our happiness, our mental health. A lot of other things so today we are going to discuss self-care before we move forward if you haven't seen last week's episode you can pause this go watch last week's episode and then you can come back here where you can see today's episode of wine down wednesdays self-care is extremely important and it is a big part of our happiness and our mental health this is why I chose to do another sit down and talk about the topic of self-care. For me, self-care is showing up for myself. Whatever I can do to show up for myself, clap for myself, root for myself, that is a form of self-care. Another form of self-care is blocking people or muting people or deleting people. Whichever you prefer and whichever you feel like is necessary for that person or that situation. So don't ever feel like you have to be drained or be consumed with someone else's issues. You don't have to deal with it. Just block, keep moving. Delete, keep moving. Mute, keep moving. You don't have to answer to anybody. You don't have to argue with anyone. You don't have to go back and forth with anybody. This is your life. Simply don't entertain it. Something else that I do for self-care is I spend time alone. So very important in order to practice self-care is to spend time with yourself. Always get to know yourself. The same way people are getting to know you on a new level, you are getting to know yourself on a new level. So it's extremely important that a part of your self-care is spending time with yourself. For me personally, I like to do my self-care on a Sunday because... I just feel like on Sundays you do self-care, but as I always say, do whatever works for you. And if Sunday doesn't work for you, do it on a Monday, do it on a Tuesday, do it on a Wednesday. It doesn't matter. Again, whatever works for you. I just personally feel like self-care on a Sunday works for me because I'm not exhausted the day before from like working or anything like that. You know, Saturdays I'm off. So Sunday I'm like fully refreshed and I can fully dig deep into my self-care. So that's why I choose to do self-care on Sundays. So self-care could be as simple as taking a nap. Self-care could be taking a bubble bath. Self-care could be writing in your journal, going to therapy, praying, FaceTiming to call your friends and your family, listening to music, going for a walk, going to the gym. There's so many ways to do self-care. And then if you want to do like other self-care, you can do massages and facials and go get your hair done, go get your nails done, go to lunch, go to brunch, go to dinner. There are many, many, many ways you can practice self-care, but just know that self-care is very important to keep you going. Some of the ways that I practice self-care, I buy myself flowers every Sunday and that's because I love flowers. And it makes me feel good. So a part of my self-care, I buy myself flowers. I also like candles. And I'll show you guys. So on Sundays, I like to pick up flowers. And there are my flowers that I picked up this past Sunday. For self-care, I also like to light candles. Self-care is not selfish. And don't let anyone trick you into making you feel like 
self-care is you being selfish is definitely not again it's something that you need to do for yourself unfortunately you can't pour from your cup if your cup is empty and honestly you shouldn't even pour from your cup is if your cup is full the only thing you should be sharing from your cup is your overflow and in order to have overflow you have to put yourself first and you have to do what's best for you at all times just show up for yourself that's a major part of self-care you know we all work a lot of us have kids a lot of us have families a lot of us have you know health issues going on or whatever type of daily issues you are facing or daily obstacles you are facing it's hard life is hard so definitely somehow some way like i said just practice self-care sometimes self-care is even just if you got a house full of people or a house full of kids whatever husband wife sometimes just locking yourself in the bathroom is a form of self-care just so you can have that minute of peace and quiet or that hour of peace and quiet whatever you need to do to remain sane please do it please do what's best for you and you know as we talk about the topic of self-care I also want to ask you guys what do you do for self-care and what does self-care mean to you feel free to comment down below and let me know what do you do for self-care and what are some things that people could practice during the week if they have a busy schedule what can people do on a daily basis to practice self-care I want to know what you guys think we are at the end of this week's episode I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys Think about what you want to do to practice self-care and I hope you guys just really take time to realize how important self-care really is and how important it is to your happiness and your mental health. If you have not done so already, make sure you check out the previous episode. We're going to be doing different things on this series of Wind Down Wednesdays. Overall, we're just going to be winding down. So sometimes that may be a sit down video where we discuss topics and sometimes that may actually be us doing things in order to wind down. So again, feel free to drop your comments down below and let me know what you guys are looking forward to. I'll see you guys next week on Wind Down Wednesday.